Good evening everyone, this is the Medicine Lady on day number eight of our video series about incorporating ceremony, simple altars and prayer into your life and how transforming that can be. So today is Thursday, uh, April 6th I believe, and I wanted to talk a little bit about my own process because I find that oftentimes what one person is going through, other people can really relate to, particularly because we're all affected by the planets. And right now, we have the planet Venus in retrograde, which is all about a time for us to look within and do some reflection around our relationships. The planet Venus rules over anything related to beauty, love, attraction, sexuality. In addition, it also rules over the second house, which is about money, and the seventh house, which is all about relationships, long-term relationships such as marriage, you know, friendship, sisterhood. And so right now, the planet Venus is in retrograde, and it's also conjunct Chiron in Pisces. And so, you know, Chiron is all about our wound and turning our wound into our teaching and our healing that we can offer to other people. And so for me, uh, I definitely manifested a situation this week where it brought up a really deep wound for me. And I wanted to talk a little bit about how I've been able to bring some healing to that wound. So I manifested a situation where I felt very judged and misunderstood. And I began to understand this morning that I needed to make some space in my life and in my heart to let, let this come up, to let some of the emotions come up into my heart and to kind of welcome the experience and um, some of the really old stuff that this was bringing up, which is what Chiron is. Chiron is really active this week and, and what Chiron does is it kind of asks us to really, um, you know, create some space and create some, um, some opening for this wound that really wants to come up to the surface. And so for me, what I realize is that I have a really old wound around feeling judged, around feeling misunderstood, around feeling different. And even though over the course of my life, I have been able to accept myself, I have been able to come to terms with a lot of my differences and um, why I'm different. I think a lot of us as light workers, as highly sensitive people, we are different. You know, we came in here to bring healing to the world. But a lot of times those differences, they can be hard to reconcile and it's not always easy being different. It's not always easy experiencing life in such a different way. And so, you know, I was able to really, um, you know, I felt the pain in my heart and my heart was able to really open up and let the pain come up and, you know, cry and just really release it. And so it's just such a blessing. It's such a gift to ourselves that we can offer to let those emotions come up because then we don't have to carry it around anymore. And so my ceremony today is a very simple ceremony. Um, I'm just here at the ocean. It's like such a beautiful evening. Um, wherever you are, you can find a magical place. Um, even if it's just a little corner of your room, you just set an intention for the energy that you want to bring there. And you just do something to make it look beautiful and peaceful um, and, and to bring in the sacred. And so what I'm going to do tonight is I'm just going to burn a little incense. Um, this is Egyptian musk incense. And um, really this incense is symbolizing the sweetness of life and you know how sweet life can be when we when we trust the body and we trust the heart and we trust the larger process that we're being guided through by these beautiful planets that are um, creating these healing experiences for us and holding space for us as we as we walk on our healing journey and so um, I just have a mirror here in honor of one of my spirit guides which is so Shun. she loves mirrors um, I have some beautiful feathers here, particularly the guinea feather, which represents spiritual protection. And then I also have a candle here that I recently purchased uh, at, a, at a beautiful market here in South Florida. And so I'm just going to light the candle. And the light, of course, represents the light within each of us and um, the light that we carry within us as spiritual beings. And it's a light that we have no matter what situation we're going through in life. Um, no matter what pain or anger or greed or jealousy or whatever emotions could be taking hold of us and holding us hostage, you know, we always have that opportunity to bring forth our highest potential, which is, you know, what's represented by the lotus flower in the practice of Buddhism, right? That the lotus flower seeds and flowers from muddy waters. So no matter what your life condition is, no matter what situation you're living through, you always can bring out your highest self. You can always make contact with the part of yourself that find in the heart which is an expansive place the heart is a very expansive the heart 
is where the alchemy happens and where the transformation happens, where you can let those emotions and you can let that pain come up to be transformed by the heart and healed and released. And so this very simple ceremony is just giving thanks for the sweetness of life. It's giving thanks for the perfection of the, the healing system that our, our spirits and our bodies can co-create and just for all the beauty and magic that we find around us. So I just want to say a prayer and I'm going to offer up this prayer to everyone, for all of us light workers, for all of us highly sensitive people, um, for anyone who has experienced pain and a feeling of separation and, um, and feeling different and, and, and anyone who carries that pain inside of them. Holy Mother, Holy Father, Holy Spirit, I want to connect to the light, the healing light and love that is all around us at all times. I ask that you, the light through the angels and archangels and the ascended masters, and the light of the universe, the great spirit, called upon by very many different names all around the world, we know that your light and your love is transforming and creates healing miracles all the time, every moment of the day. We just ask that you surround anyone watching this video with love and light and that you bring healing and release and transformation to whatever wound they are asking to heal. We just ask that these individuals breathe into their heart chakra and create an open expansive space in their heart to allow any pain, any emotions that need release to come to the surface. And we just ask that anyone watching this video find the courage in their heart to allow these emotions to come up for healing. In the name of the Holy Mother, the Holy Father, and the Holy Spirit, we thank all of our ancestors and all the spiritual beings that continue to walk with us in the light to bring about our highest good so that we can work as light workers to bring healing into this world. In the name of the most